This morning, Chinese-owned TikTok wading into American politics as Congress is set to vote later this morning on a bill with the potential to ban the wildly popular app if it's not divested by its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, within six months. TikTok launching an all-out lobbying effort, encouraging its users to come to its defense. Save TikTok! You need to make your voices heard. Call them and tell them to stop the ban. Sending influencers, along with its CEO, to Washington, where it has a healthy lobbying operation and even releasing ads. TikTok helps me to achieve the mission that God put me on this earth to do. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are concerned about the potential for the Chinese government to access the data of TikTok's 170 million plus American users. This app has the potential of being a mass surveillance tool against American people. The U.S. government has said in the past that Chinese companies, including ByteDance, are compelled to share their data with the Chinese government. TikTok has repeatedly denied that ByteDance is an agent of the Chinese government, adding in a new statement, this legislation has a predetermined outcome, a total ban of TikTok in the United States. And lawmakers are also worried about TikTok's influence on young people's mental health. A former Google executive turned critic told 60 Minutes, look no further than how different China's version is. They show you science experiments you can do at home, museum exhibits, patriotism videos, and educational videos. And they make their domestic version a spinach version of TikTok, while they ship the opium version to the rest of the world. And there are concerns about misinformation spreading on the app in an election year. They can make you believe things that are not true. As the candidates are weighing in. Former President Donald Trump has recently signaled opposition to the ban after previously supporting it. The Washington Post reporting that former Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway is defending TikTok on Capitol Hill and that she has told Trump many of his supporters are on TikTok. President Biden, for his part, says he'd sign the bill that could ban TikTok, even as his campaign uses the platform to court voters. The state of our union is strong and getting stronger. Now, TikTok says it does not believe a divestment deal could be done within a six-month timeline. And Savannah, we reached out to TikTok overnight about those concerns about its impact on youth mental health and the differences with the Chinese version of the app. We have not heard back, but the company has said in the past that it does offer screen time limits for young people. Savannah? All right. Thank you very much, Savannah. Let's turn now to longtime tech journalist Kara Swisher, host of the Pivot podcast and on with Kara Swisher and also the author of the new book, Burn Book, a tech love story. Kara, good morning. I don't know how much love you have for TikTok this morning. Before we get into the particulars, can you just lay out for people, particularly young people who might love it because they keep Mm -hmm. in touch with their friends, people think it's amusing, their cat videos or their influencers or they have a small business Mm -hmm. and they love their TikTok. What is the national security issue here? Well, there's a couple. There's obviously surveillance, and that's that's been a concern. But I think probably what the legislators are thinking about more is propaganda. Can you imagine China owning NBC or a a Washington Post or a big company? They're not allowed to. And so many people think of this as a media company. We also in the U.S. aren't our U.S. companies aren't allowed access to China. Um, So that would be among the concerns that they're doing, and and that there is probably an influence of China on these. Companies, whether they say or not, because that's what happens throughout Chinese companies. By the way, just noting that China bans international social media platforms like Facebook and X (laughs) from its own borders. You you mentioned surveillance. Now, the bill before us would say to TikTok's parent company, which is called ByteDance, either divest Mm -hmm. yourself of ByteDance and the Chinese connection and sell to a U.S. owner, for example, Mm -hmm. or you will be banned. Isn't the cat kind of out of the bag? I mean, a 2020 Commerce report found found that China is already building massive databases of Americans' personal Mm -hmm. information to help the Chinese government to further its intelligence gathering. Hasn't the ship sailed? No, because it keeps sailing. You know, this is an ongoing information war. You talk about wars. It's all happening in cyberspace. And so the more information you have, the more surveillance you have, the more data you have, the, the stronger you're going to be. And so I think the worries are is that this is, and you know, we worried about the, the spy balloon hanging over the U.S. You know, a lot of people put this out. It's 170 million spy balloons. And I, I think probably propaganda is the the, the focus where, and mental health. But, you know, that's an issue with all the other social media platforms, too. Well, as mentioned, the legislation isn't an outright ban. It, it creates mm-hmm. this opportunity for a sale. 
Do you think that would be likely to happen? Someone would swoop in and buy TikTok, so you'd still have your TikTok, you just wouldn't have it linked and uh, it functionally owned by the Chinese Communist Party. Well, you know, well, if it is, that, let's be clear, we don't know that. Um, but one of the issues is, what do you get when you buy it? Because they're not going to give us the algorithm. Because if they give us the algorithm, we can see, in fact, if they've been spying, and we can see if they've been using propaganda. And so what do you get? You get the TikTok name and you get the users. Can you recreate the magic of TikTok? And I think that's one of the issues here. But there'll be lots of buyers for this thing. It makes a lot of money. It's the most popular app. Uh, and so it, it's a great brand. And the question is, can you remake it if you pull it out of the current configuration it's in? TikTok has been on a major PR blitz. I see ads mm -hmm. all the time, all day long. They've got lobbyists on Capitol Hill. They actually asked their users, many of them minor children, according to lawmakers, to flood mm -hmm. congressional offices with phone calls saying, don't take away my TikTok. Do you think mm -hmm. it's working? Uh, I don't think so. I think actually there's been a backlash against it. It's, you know, it's kind of a little heavy handed, but what are they going to do? They have to say we're good for America, I guess. This Chinese owned government, I mean, a Chinese owned uh, uh, app is good for America. And that would that's a good argument for them. I don't know if it's going to work um, because, you know, the, the, for the obvious reasons, I think Congress is very determined to do that. And President Trump certainly was before he wasn't. He was he was he was for it until he was against it, I guess. All right. President Biden, meanwhile, says he will sign the bill if it comes mm -hmm. to his desk. But of course, others have noted that the campaign, the Biden campaign just joined TikTok. So we've got people all they over did. the place. Karis Wisher, yeah, exactly. Karis Wisher, author of Burn Book. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.